Hey everybody, Corey here with Scale Model Inc. Okay, this is part two, painting of the Rubicon Steer. And uh, I'm just hand holding this uh, camera because I didn't want to get all the stuff set up because I'm ready to paint. So we got it primed up in the, uh, I just used ammo by MIG, uh, one shot black, it laid down beautifully. So we got the main vehicle all with or all primed up in black, and I also over here to the side have the gun carriage and everything, and all the wheels done. So we're ready to apply. This is our base. It's ammo by Big Dunkel Gelb. Um, oh, it's forty-four. A M I G zero zero eleven. They have a number of Dunkel gels, but there will be a, a first highlight and then a second highlight after this one. So, and uh, got the old airbrush ready. It's my. Uh, Creos 270, love it, it's a three millimeter. I use my five millimeter for laying down base coats and that kind of thing, or uh, primers and stuff. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, this coat on and we'll come back when we're done with that. All right guys, we're back and we have the first uh, layer of Dunkel Gelb on there. I think you can see that. It's kind of shadowy here. Um, got a pretty good coat on it. And that is the base coat. Looks pretty good. And uh, there's the gun carriage. And here's a, one of the wheels. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get ready and lay down the uh, first highlight. We'll be back. Hey, y'all. So we're back and we have the first, uh, first highlight laid down. And... Uh, now we're gonna lay down the last highlight. Um, this was the, what we just laid down, Dunkel Gelb, um, number MIG00012. And what we're getting ready to lay down is the, uh, M I G zero nine zero five, otherwise known as Dunkel Gelb Shine. So, all right, we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back and we got the final highlight on. So at this point, we will start painting some of the details. Um. But when I get that done, then I'll come back. Thanks. Hey, everybody. We're back, and we've been working on some painting up some of the details. Um, did, you know, pretty much paint the undercarriage of the, the vehicle and uh, worked on the uh, canvas. Uh, uh, cover on the back there um, use the Vallejo uh, I think it's a Panzer Aces color canvas and then I mixed it with uh, well then I, and then I put a uh, wash of Agrax Hershade on that and in the interior on the floor <clears throat> and then I come back and applied 
uh, the canvas again. And then for a highlight, I mix stencil with the canvas. Um, so that's pretty much where we set right now. I'm getting ready to put a little bit of a gloss coat um, where the decals will go. And when I get the decals on, then I will come back. Thanks. Hey everybody, just we're back here for a quick update on the Rubicon Sire <laughs> and we have got the decals on which were basically just four decals um, the insignia on the hood and the numbers on the bumper as well as the numbers on the back and the insignia on the back and as you can see, I also decided to put some green gate gray camo, um, just a light, kind of a worn out camo, and that'll be, even become more faded um, as I go through the weathering process. But I thought it looked pretty good. Um, I just shot a quick, quick uh, pattern on it. So anyway, that's where we're at now. Um, I'm going to start the chipping uh, process on it. Um, I don't use the sponge technique much because I tend to overdo it when I do that. So I tend to do it by hand with a small brush. It takes quite a while to do it that way, even on a small piece like a 156 scale. Um, item but I just feel like I have more control that way and and I don't really like it to be overdone um I want it to be somewhat realistic so anyway um when I come back I will have it chipped that process all done and should be ready to put my satin coat on it and then I'll start all the weather and stuff all right, we'll be back. Hey, everybody, we're back and we have our chipping done. Um, like how it looks, I uh, used uh, a little bit of an off-white that I put down first. And then I come back with uh, both uh, Vallejo uh, Whole Red and Camo Black Dark Brown. Um, color both are really good for chipping so as you can see um, I didn't want it um, you know really 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 heavy but enough you know especially on a light covered vehicle like this and in the desert not going to be a whole lot of rust but definitely you know chipping and um, it's not going to be a rust bucket I mean we're in the we're in the desert be a little bit but um so but i think it turned out pretty good so some scratches and that kind of thing so uh i like the progress so far i think it's coming along pretty good so uh yeah, and I also, you know, did up the gun. So that now I pretty much did the sponge on. So, um, and so now next step is uh, doing, uh, I'm going to put the satin um, varnish on and then we'll start the weathering process. All right, we'll be back. Hey everybody, we're back and I think we're pretty much done with the weathering. Um, I've been looking it over now for about an hour and I really don't see anything. I really want to do anything further on it. Uh, I've got the gun all the way I want it. So, and the... Uh, vehicle I did just put it like a little bit of a light dusting of dust along the bottom edge 
just to kind of blend it up with some dust. But yeah, it's I like it. I I like where it's at and how it's turned out. Um, not super heavy weathering, but you know it's been used. So and for, for the weathering part, pretty much used uh, this stuff. You know, it's ammo. Uh, you know, the Africa Core wash, um, the streaking grime, rain mark effects, rust effects, and then uh, Africa Core dust um, that I used on the wheels. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. So, yeah, so at this point, it looks like it's about time to get it all assembled and then I gotta finish up on the figures um, I really don't like the way the driver fits in there um, I like the way he fits as a passenger better but I've got a um, another figure that I'm gonna use with it because uh, Rubicon doesn't have uh, much for Africa Core of the figures out yet they they probably will next year but um i do have a bunch of the uh the africa core um figures from perry miniatures and some of the metals on order so i will probably wait to finish this until i pick up the figure i want to put with it and uh yeah we'll just go from there all right guys uh we'll see ya so hey everybody so here we are we are all completed um i really like the way it turned out um i think it looks good um I like the way the paint turned out the only thing i wasn't happy with is the driver um didn't fit very well in there not sure why but I ended up using him as a passenger the other figure is a Perry Miniatures metal um, Africa Core guy that I painted up. Um, thought he turned out pretty good too. But uh, yeah, I thought uh, uh, very happy with the overall results. So uh, be uh, some still photos at the end of this. But uh, thank you everybody for watching. And we will catch you on the next one.